from 1560. That's true, right? So, um, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I, I can plug in for FB. Okay, what can we plug in for that? For FB, I can plug in um, 1,000 times 9.8 CT mm -hmm. sub. Okay. Can we plug in anything for V sub? Now, we say that uh, the question is how many clips can we uh, put on before it loses buoyancy? Mm -hmm. What that means is that should our picture show it floating or sinking? Well, it should show it just barely floating. I think we did a problem like this earlier where we wanted it to be just on the verge of sinking, just barely floating. So in a way, this picture isn't that great. What's wrong with this picture? How, how do we need to fix it? Right. In fact, if it's just on the verge of sinking, it should just be barely completely submerged. The entire object should be submerged here. Okay, so um, I know the diameter and the mass. Right, so we're going to have to look at the formula for volume there. I don't know if you happen to have those formulas memorized, most people don't. Yeah. <laughs> but the formula, well, why don't we uh, look them up in your textbook in case you need those. So in the back of the book, you've got your mathematical appendix. I guess the 
class is coming to a close here, but even if you might still need this mathematical appendix. And notice if you go to the mathematical appendix, they give you all the formulas we need, which is the formula we want here. That's right. All right, so we'll have to be careful. Oops, sorry, about using that. So that's one of the traps. There's a few traps here we'll have to avoid. One of the traps is if we don't want to plug in the 30, we need the radius. So what's the radius? Uh, 15 centimeters. Right. Um, the volume is in meters cubed, so I need to change that to meters. Okay, that's another of the traps we're going to have to be careful about. That's right. We want, we want to work in standard SI units so that everything comes out in newtons. So then I should change it to that's right. So we have to be careful. How are we going to do that? Uh, 100 cubed, so it's one. Second plus the arrow keys is your contrast control here. So there we go. Okay. So let's see. So because uh, there's 100 centimeters per meter, but I want meters cubed. Right. Let's take our time and talk about that. Okay. Where should I put the number one here, and where should I put the number 100? remembered, that does not mean that there's 100 cubic centimeters in a 1 cubic meter. If we cubed this, we would get that 1 cubic meter is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's 100 cubed centimeters cubed. I think we talked about this earlier today, right? 100 centimeters cubed. But then I think you ended up maybe putting the number in the wrong place in the conversion ratio here. So we've got 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Is that 1 million? 1 million cubic centimeters per cubic meter. So then it's 1.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. You got it. Cubic meters. Okay. I'm starting to forget what we're trying to do. All right, lots of steps here. Yeah. Ah, that's right. We're trying to figure out the volume. Okay. To, to do all that got. All right, we got to back up and do it all over again. All right, so we have to figure out how many meters are there, how many meters is, is 15 centimeters? All this junk was wrong. How many meters is 15 centimeters? Um, 15 divided by 100. Right. Which is 0.15 meters. Mm -hmm. All right, all this stuff down here did, had no relevance at all. We don't have to translate here from cubic centimeters to cubic meters. That'll just come out naturally when we do the formula. Got confused about that. All right, so we should just plug in 
0.15 meters, and now we'll keep that. Okay, good. 